Now, science joins history in a new quest. In the future, it may be possible to establish a blood link between John and Jesus. Today, their mission is to test fragments of bone believed to be John's. For the first time in history, we're able to place these uh, relics in their proper, proper time and proper date, and also to understand more about their history and how they come down to us. In the centuries after his death, bone relics of John the Baptist begin spreading out from the Holy Land as early Christians seek a physical connection with the man who played such a decisive role in the life of Jesus. His relics become extremely important all over the world. So there are lots of narratives of discovering parts of his body, whether it's his head or other relics. His hand and arm seem to be incredibly important because he points to Jesus during the baptism. By the 15th century, there are over 200 relics of John the Baptist across Europe, far more than could possibly be genuine. Whether authentic or not, each piece is a clue to the growth of the early church. Using carbon dating and DNA techniques, scientists hope to build a map showing the crucial role played by relics in the spread of Christ's message. We're obviously aware of the fact that the vast majority of the material of the relics that we'll be testing are probably not going to fall into the period which historically we would expect. But this is just the first step in a big project in which we're looking at other similar relics, getting dates for them, getting reliable scientific data from them to find out more about who these people were, where they came from. The ambitious project to draw that historical map across Europe begins in Bulgaria in 2010 with an excavation that makes headlines around the world. Buried beneath the ruins of a 5th century Orthodox Christian monastery dedicated to John the Baptist, a box the church believe contains relics of his bones. Bulgaria was the first time that we'd really um, formally investigated using modern scientific techniques, uh, a, a relic that was found in a, in a place which had a very reliable context. And when the results of the carbon dating finally come in, they discover something truly remarkable. When the day came through, I, my jaw was a little bit uh, down on the floor. Right there, 30 AD, that's when John the Baptist is supposed to have died. And you can see the date fits right within that margin. 30 AD, a date consistent with the death of John the Baptist. The DNA results go even further, indicating the bones came from a Middle Eastern man. Could these actually be the bones of John the Baptist and a connection to what the Bible points to? a possible blood link between John and Jesus. The story of John the Baptist's relationship to Jesus derives from Luke's Gospel. The Gospel of Luke describes Mary, the mother of Jesus, and Elizabeth, the mother of John the Baptist, as being relatives. It uses a vague term, kinswomen, and our best guess is that means something like cousins. 